How's it going, everyone? It is January 18th. It's a Thursday, 2024, and this is the video for today. So let's start with what the market is doing today. We had a gap up on some positive reaction in TSM, strong earnings reaction there, and we got a strong push by semis. A lot of other semis also had a nice gap up, and tech stocks were pretty strong throughout the day. This gap up held initially. We had a move to the downside, some choppy candles, and we started to climb higher. We got one swift test down, buyer supported this bid, and then we got this second retest here at the close of the gap from Tuesday, um, rejected off that gap on this double top, marginally new high, and we got a long red candle over here, uh, which was actually a reaction to a Fed speak. He was talking about potentially having rate cuts not as soon. Um, so in my opinion, you can see that we had here, it didn't really have much follow through. Um, we kind of triggered some sell stops here, tried to fill in the gap, and then we found some support pretty much right in the gap, and we are shooting back into the range for the day. Um, so a good day to not take a lot of trades, in my opinion. Um, I took some profits and some overnight swings. I waited to see if this move would have any legs, and we had this long compression, which I viewed as mildly bullish because we didn't get the follow-through on the bear cycle. However, we weren't able to eat back up into this long green candle just yet. So looks like buyers needed to see some support hold and then get some reinforcements at this range over here for this gap. So um, intraday right now I'm bullish. I actually have a, a small SPY position here. I'm trading IVV because I have a, a SPY swing position, so I can't quite double up, but um, similar thing. I traded SPY here, and one of the systems I'm trying out is this 1OP LRSI cross. Um, the intraday price action I view is fairly neutral, and there's plays to be made on both sides of SPY. Um, I don't think a lot of moves are going to have follow through, so your best bet is to add to swing longs on these or add to day trade longs on these dips down, provided they hold strength. Um, if I'm entering SPY, I don't want to enter on a breakout. I want to enter on a um, after the pullback and after it's found support. This also provides good entry points. There's just not enough buying conviction to support any follow through on any breakout, really. So that's what I see intraday. Uh, long term, the bias on SPY has not changed too much. Um, you can see that if we close above this prior high today, it's a nice option for some swing longs. Um, we do also have um, a lower or higher low, sorry, over here, and we've had close above the AVWFQ. Um, so, you know, mildly bullish here. We get this close. And I'd probably look to enter some swing longs. Let's look at the picks from the prior videos. So the first one here was Elf. So Elf, not super great today. Long red candle. And I always load this on the wrong chart. Yes, long red candle over here. Um, lots of heavy selling today and not really participating in the market bounce. Um, it's not chopping down a lot, but I didn't, we didn't like how it gapped down and held the gains while the market continued to move higher and is a little bit more neutral. So um, don't love that on ELF. Um, but I would still hold the stock here because it's holding this uh, breakout candle right here. We're holding this breakout. So provided that it holds this level, I would stay in the trade. Um, if it breaks through this level, or if we get an LRSI uh, bearish cross on the D1, then I'd probably look to exit uh, the position. Um, so that's what I'm seeing in ELF, but nothing crazy. Um, you know, just happens to see some weakness today. We have a lot of long-term buyers, so they should be interested at, you know, this price, and we can tell how aggressive they are by how early they buy um, the position. 
So I'm going to quickly check what I had for my picks. I had elf before. I'm not sure if I gave a pick yesterday. But let's go over the uh, trades I'm in right now. So Amgen here, you can see it's found support again at this level. And it's actually leading the way up in terms of the market rally. Healthcare is pretty strong right now. Um, I like it's filled in the gap over here. It's confirming this uh, support level. So Amgen is looking very, very nice. Uh, my Uber put credit spread is also doing well. I took it over here and it's managed to uh, gap up higher and hold the gains um, a little bit. It's a real strong relative to SPY, not the absolute strongest, but not the worst. So Uber's put credit spread's doing pretty well. Um, the Airbnb uh, put credit spread is also doing decent, had a nice move up here, gave back some of the gains. So it looks like there's some resistance at this level, perhaps a downward sloping trend line. So we may have to break through that, but I think with a market tailwind we can. NVIDIA put credit spread is in good shape. Uh, the Zoom put credit spread I am taking some heat on. So it's kind of chopping around these levels over here, but it is holding this low from Jan 4. So that's still what I want to see. I still like that. But Zoom taking a little bit of heat on. Still have some time for the trade to play out. And if the market blows in my favor, then I should be pretty good. All right, so first one here is I took profits on AMD. I had profits around the high of the year at 164. So I took profits at the open, and then I waited to see if the gap could hold. When the gap started to fill in is when I exited out of the trade um, for some nice profits. So AMD was a great winner. I also took profits today on Ramp. Ramp had a really nice gap up. I took profits at the open, and then it started to fill in the gap. So I, I exited over here, um, both exceeded my profit target of right here, 39. So <clears throat> really nice win uh, on ramp. It's like a 10% move on that stock. Um, the other one I took was Spotify. And you can see how good these high plus trend lines work. So I took it over here, added, held through this pullback. Today Spotify shot up really strong and I took partial profits here Market was looking good and Spotify great relative strength. So I wanted to see, um, and that had potential to potentially break through this high plus trend line, but we didn't get the market tailwind and that provided some pretty stiff resistance over here. So when I saw this bull this bearish engulfing candle right here, I exited the remaining Spotify position and it took profits. So, you know, these knowing where these support and resistance are is super, super key and you can see how much Spotify reacted to this. It doesn't make massive moves, so you need to know um, you know, these targets well in advance as you're constructing your trade. So we're gonna look at a couple of picks for today that I was eyeing earlier. <clears throat> the first one is Marvel. Marvel was pretty strong earlier in the day. You can see how it gave back some of the gains, but it is holding its support, but not bouncing with the market. So, um, it's one of the things where if you look at it early in the day, you can see here how it's grinding up higher while the market's going lower. So with heavy volume, really nice relative strength. Another one that's pretty nice here is Dropbox. And I like Dropbox a lot more. So you can see how much it, it held the gains earlier in the day. Not participating in the latest rally, but it is fairly strong and it is holding this level here. Not a not a very big pullback, digesting some of this big move higher. And pretty nice price action. Um, ever since we had this breakout over here, if I draw a horizontal line. So we had a breakout over this level, retested it, and then launched up to a new high. So Dropbox is looking very nice. Broke through a lot of high plus trend lines. RCL 
uh, was again another nice one in the morning and you can see how it was faked out gave away all the gains meaning low of the day so that is not the real deal that's not what we're looking for here uh, and then this is the pick that i ended up trading as a swing <clears throat> which is a cam so you can see how much it held the market move up or the market move down very very well um, had some selling here which i didn't like i actually entered around here so um i'm not not ended up not being the greatest entry but um i like it for a couple of reasons here so first the price action is fairly steady there's some pullbacks move up pullbacks move up um a nice move higher of course in the november december rally i didn't love this deep retracement but we held this breakout level we tested it so we know there's some sellers here uh tech got a little bit you know a little bit ahead of itself so we had to see that major sell off but we held AV up q and the 50 sma we're above all the smas over here a nice stack um and recently you can see 12th and the 16th right if we look at the market this week here's 12th 16th and 17th it's going down you'll hit acam 12 16 17 totally flat and then today it rallies higher on really nice volume earlier in the day so i like it this here was a reaction actually to this downward sloping trend line coming into play you can see around this 8 118.50 level so put 118.50 over here okay you can clearly see it's reacting over here but then we had a really strong push through one heavy volume um higher low higher high held all the gains while the market was going down and then we got some profit taking here holding vwap and it looks like it's ready to get a next stage higher so acam is looking like my pick of the day but we're gonna do a quick search to see if there's anything else that we can look at so here's TSM, really overextended, so I wouldn't trade that. Apple is one that was quite strong today, but has to get through its AVWAP Q. That's providing some resistance on the stock. Qualcomm is not bad. Broke through here, it is in this gap, so that gap is probably providing, yep, some resistance. If it can break through that gap, then it is in good shape and you see it's holding the gains pretty well so there's a good likelihood that it might and let's see what stocks have a nice relative strength today vive we traded earlier nice breakout here it looks like it hit this line and rejected marriott is pretty nice you can also again see it's rubbing up against this high plus trend line over here can't break through let's look at win mm. nothing very convincing nothing very convincing here so I think that I am going to recommend ACAM today as my pick of the day. I like the D1, I like the M5 strength, and what I'm actually doing is a longer term in the money call swing. So I'm taking, there's only monthly options, but I'm taking the February 16th, 110 calls. So they're deep in the money. And my target is of over somewhere over here, which is around the one probably probably 124 by the time it's done. Um, I'll see how it reacts to this level here. If it can break through it, then I'm going to add to the trade. But it's a very steady mover. Um, we have an LRSI cross earlier. We have a nice bullish flag. We filled on this gap, broke through some of these shorter term high minus trend lines, and we have earnings on the 13th. So. The scenarios are I want it to hold AV WebQ on this breakout level, so we have a lot of support here. If it breaks through that, 
um, I'm out of the trade. If my market bias becomes very bearish, then I'm also going to look to be out of the trade if the earnings present doesn't produce the reaction I want to see. If it gets through this relative high and holds it on a retest, then I'm going to add to the trade. And then if it um, reaches this high plus trend line, that is my profit target at around 124. So that'd be a $5 move and you're, you're gonna get a pretty high delta on those options. Um, you know, I think I got a 0.8 delta on those. So it might be looking something like a $4 move in the option contract. I'm paying about a $2 of premium or $1.50 of premium. So um, that should offset any loss that I get from the premium decay. Because I'm holding over earnings, the IV was also going to protect against that data decay. So that's why I took it past the earnings date. So that is your pick of the day. I hope this was very helpful. You can see that SPY is doing pretty well. I'm going to probably take profits at the high of the day here. And I will catch you all in the next video.